Well, just another quick video update. Tonight I decided to finally get around to tackling the dual LED AMLs. Now there's a couple of really good threads on the Hangar 45 forums on how to assemble these, but uh, I'm just finishing the last one and uh, my second one only took me about 15 minutes, so I thought I'd uh, shoot some video while I did it. Maybe it might help somebody someday, but I, I think the thread on the Hangar 45 site really covers it. Anyway. Uh, start off with uh, my, one of my AMLs, and you can see it's been gutted with the Dremel tool. Um, these momentary contact ones with uh, the single pole really work out well. There's lots of room in there and no bulb carrier, so pretty easy. Just take the uh, Dremel tool with a burring bit and hollow it out. Three wires. Uh, I think I'll use white as ground in this case, and uh, yellow and a green. Pretty self-explanatory. They're going to be my landing gear lights, so I'm going to have a yellow and a green LED, which are here on the bench. These ones I got from DP Micro here in Ontario. They're uh, 7,000 MCD. They seem to work pretty good so far. Anyway, uh, next shot will be going together. And here's the next step with the. Uh, negative side of the LEDs soldered together and the uh, positive side soldered to the wires. Very straightforward. And the next uh, step is put a little heat shrink over top of uh, the leads so that they won't short together within the switch. And well, pretty much from here we just set it into the switch. Here's the LEDs uh, set inside. Yet again, pretty straightforward. All I did was fish the wires down through. There's lots of room now that I've uh, started carving them out a bit bigger. It just slides right down in there. This is kind of the wild card. Um, you have to have Ron's lens kit. And uh, actually I had Ron CNC these caps for the divider to set in there. And then what I did is just put a little dab of, uh, of CA glue on there to hold the divider in place. And that way there's zero light bleed between the two LEDs. And that's pretty much it. We just set the cap on there and uh, I'll use a little bit of uh, the automotive goop glue to hold the wires in place at the end so the LEDs don't shift. And that'll be that. That's number three. So here we have it. Uh, three dual LED AMLs in uh, under an hour. Thank you very much for the gentleman who led the way on this. I did not pioneer the design. It, uh, it sure makes life simple. Now I only have, I think, about 10 more in the Lear. And they're actual functional switches, which these actually are still as well. Uh, they still actually retain their push-button functionality, even though it's not needed. So, the next one should go off without a hitch. I'm super pleased. They look perfect. Time to put them in the panel and fire up the, the PO Keys card. It's already wired for these. and. Just a matter of plugging them in. Thanks for watching.